A cultural difference that exists between the U.S. and the EU is how they use and view consumption taxes. A consumption tax, according to Investopedia, is a tax on the purchase of goods and services. Two major forms of consumption tax that have become popular around the world are sales tax and value-added tax, or VAT as it's commonly known. The U.S. is obviously a user of the sales tax system, while the EU has adopted a VAT system. Obama once proposed a nationwide value-added tax in 2010, but it was met by a lot of opposition from both Republicans and Democrats alike. This sheer rejection from the, from the U.S. compared to the EU's universal use of VAT highlights a major cultural difference in tax structures and citizens' views on the way they are taxed, who is taxed, and how much they are taxed. Almost every U.S. consumer is accustomed to having sales added sales tax added onto a price of a good when they go to purchase it, but many have little or no working knowledge of what a value added tax is. While sales tax occurs at the time a good is sold to a consumer, VAT occurs at every step of the production process, meaning producers and manufacturers pay the actual tax, but is still considered a consumption tax because a tax burden is designed to fall onto the final retail consumer, just like sales tax. This means the price of the good contains the value added tax that all the producers have paid as well as the cost to produce the item and the profit to be made by the retailer. This key distinction reflects a large difference in the way the consumer is taxed. The U.S. sales tax, while an indir indirect tax, is often s seems like a direct tax because on almost every receipt the sales tax percentage and the total amount are stated separately from the price of the good or services bought. In the EU VAT model, since the producers have already paid the tax, the amount is factored into the selling price and therefore not explicitly disclosed to the consumer. This di difference demonstrates a key point of U.S. and EU cultures, and the fact that U.S. consumers prefer to see exactly how much they are paying and who they are paying that amount to. A second major difference in views of consumption tax is who should be taxed. In the U.S., it's a shared common belief that anyone purchasing goods or services in a particular jurisdiction must pay that designated sales tax. In the EU, however, the burden of VAT is only designed to fall on EU citizens. This means tourists can submit paperwork and receive money they paid into VAT, paid into VAT back. This highlights that the U.S. believes that uh, taxes should be imposed on those that are receiving the goods or services, while the EU has designed their VAT system to be paid by the citizens of their country. A third difference between the two systems that reflects how tax is viewed by the two cultures is the actual tax rate percentage. Sales tax in the U.S. averages around 9.6 percent as of 2011, while the EU has a set range for VAT between 15 and 25 percent, and in 2011 it averaged at 21 percent. Any state in the U.S. that creates a sales tax over 10 percent typically draws a lot a great deal of public attention, while the EU, that percentage is still below the mandatory rate for VAT. This gap in percentages highlights that U.S. culture is much more accustomed to lower tax rates overall than our European counterparts. Finally, a key dis distinction is the actual setting of the tax rate. In the U.S., there is no federal law that dictates how much a state should charge for sales tax or even if they should use or even if the state should use a sales tax. It is up to each inv individual state to decide the law surrounding their sales tax system. In the e EU, while each country decides exactly the percentage of VAT to charge, they must stick within the designated 15 to 25 percent range the European Union requires of its member nations. This dim difference demonstrates the U.S. desire for a shared control between the federal government and state governments. Overall, the two consumption tax systems have very different approaches to arrive at the same outcome. These uh, varied approaches highlight that while we have many similarities with Europe, there are still many differences in our cultures, especially how we view and use taxes.